President Joe Biden ordered the United States military to carry out retaliatory air strikes against Iranian-backed militia groups after three U.S. service members were injured in a drone attack in northern Iraq. National Security Council spokesperson Adrian Watson said one of the U.S. troops suffered critical injuries in the attack that occurred earlier Monday. The Iranian-backed militia Kateb, Hezbollah, and affiliated groups under an umbrella of Iranian-backed militants claimed credit for the attack that utilized a one-way attack drone. Iraqi officials said that U.S. strikes targeting militia sites early Tuesday killed one militant and wounded 80. They came at a time of heightened fears of a regional spillover of the Israel-Hamas war. Iran announced Monday that an Israeli strike on the outskirts of the Syrian capital of Damascus killed one of its top generals, Sayyid Razi Mosavi, who had been a close companion of General Qasim Soleimani, the former head of Iran's elite Quds force. Soleimani was slain in a U.S. drone strike in Iraq in January 2020. Iranian officials vowed revenge for the killing of Mosavi but didn't immediately launch a retaliatory strike. The militia attack Monday in northern Iraq was launched prior to the strike in Syria that killed Mosavi. Biden, who was spending Christmas at the presidential retreat at Camp David, Maryland, was alerted to the attack by White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan shortly after it occurred Monday and ordered the Pentagon and his top national security aides to prepare response options to the attack on an airbase used by American troops in Erbil.